Hello viewers, welcome to the second part of the video for this song Kode Kala Katre from Panir Pushpangal. If you want to view the chords cover for this song, please see part 1 video link in the description below. In this second part, we are going to see the tutorials for the lead that I played in the first part for the prelude. Then we look at the chords and the strumming pattern and the scale. If you want to view the complete chords for this song in both original version and the transposed version, please see the description below. Now we will see the tutorials for the prelude that I have played in part 1 video. We are going to break this down into three different parts. And when you play each part of the prelude, you will see the notes that is appearing on the screen. Those notes are not transposed but the original notes. Since this song is transposed, please place a capo on the fourth fret. Now we will see the first part of the prelude. Now we will slow this down and play one more time. So this first part you had to play twice. Now we will move to the second part. We will slow this down. You have to play the second part twice. Now we will see the last part. We will slow this down and play it one more time. Now we will combine all three parts and play in one go. that is the prelude. Now we will look at the scale of the song. The scale of this song is originally in E major. So in order to play a little easier, we have transposed this to C major scale. So now we will look at the list of chords used in this song. The first chord is C major. The next chord is E minor. The next chord is A minor 7th. So hold A minor and remove the ring finger. That is A minor 7th. The next chord is G major. For beginners, if you are finding it difficult to hold the bar chord, you can use the open style. The next chord is D major. The next chord is E major. The next chord is C sixth. In order to hold C sixth, hold A minor and add your pinky on the 
fifth string on the seventh fret on the actual frets not the transposed that is C sixth the next chord is F major again for beginners if you are finding it difficult to hold the bar chord you can use this way that is F major next chord is B seventh so these are the chords used in this song now we will see the strumming pattern that I have used in part 1 video it goes like this slow super slow with the actual tempo of the song so that is the strumming pattern now we will see the chords line by line starting with Pallavi the first line and the second line is fully C major the third line Manam Thedum Suvai is C major Suvai Yodu that Yodu is E minor so Manam Thedum Suvai Yodu the next line Dinam Thorum for Dinam we continue with E minor from the previous line and Thorum is a minor 7th Isai Padu Isai is A minor 7th Padu is G major so we will see the previous line and this line together Manam Dinam Isai Padu the next line Adai Ketkum Nenjame Adai is G major Ketkum Nenjame is D major the next line Sugam Kodi Kanatum Sugam is D major Kodi Kanatum is E major Sugam Kodi Kanatum The next line Evegal Ila is E major Malai Puka Le Malai Puka is A minor Le is D minor So we will see the previous line and this line together Sugam Kodi Kanatum Yivagal Yila Malai Pukale The next line Pudu Chole Pudu is D minor Chole is G major Pukale we have two chords Puka is G major Le is C major When that Le drags it you finish with G major. So we will see the previous line and this line together. So that is the end of Pallavi chords. Now we will see the Pallavi chords, the slow tempo of the strumming pattern.
that is the end of pallavi chords now we will move to charanam chords the first end of charanam is c sixth so you hold a minor and add the pinky on the fifth string the first line is c sixth தேடுதோ இஸ் இமேஜர் யாரை தேடுதோ லைன்ஸ் சிமிலர் டு ப்ரீவியஸ் டூ லைன்ஸ் யாரை பாடுதோ நெக்ஸ்ட் லைன் தன் உணர்வுகளை மெல்லிசையாக ஃபார் தன் யூ கண்டினியூ வித் சி மேஜர் ஃப்ரம் த ப்ரீவியஸ் லைன் and after that it is fully a minor the next line nam uravugalai vandu koodado for koodado it is g major everything before that is fully a minor so technically you continue with a minor from the previous line so those two lines together nam uravugalai mellisayaga nam next line thiru nalum koodattum for thiru you continue with g major from the previous line nalum koodattum is f major immediately you strike d minor because that one you have to continue for the next line so that line thiru nalum koodattum sugam is d minor from the previous line தேடி ஆடட்டும் ஃபோர் தேடி இஸ் ஜி மேஜர் ஆடட்டும் வி ஹேவ் டூ கார்ட்ஸ் ஆ இஸ் ஜி மேஜர் டட்டும் இஸ் பி செவன்த் அண்ட் ஆஃப்டர் தட் யூ ஸ்ட்ரைக் இ மேஜர் ஸோ நவ் வி வில் சி த ப்ரீவியஸ் லைன் அண்ட் திஸ் லைன் டுகெதர் திரு சுகம் And the last two lines of Charanam is the same as the last two lines of Pallavi. So now we will see Charanam chords with a slow tempo of the strumming. that is the end of charanam chords i hope you find this easier thank you for watching